Legendary George Barris was also in attendance, but instead of being surrounded by his famous cars from film and television, Barris was eager to show off several cars customized by himself and his brother Sam, who passed away in 1967. Barris refers to these cars as the legend cars and includes Sam's 1949 Mercury, the Hirohata Merc, built by George and Sam for Robert Hirohata in 1951, and a la carte, built in 1957 from a 1929 Ford pickup truck. Of course, I was fortunate to pioneer customizing back in the 40s when I was doing my very first car, which was a 1925 Buick, which I had to be able to customize. So, But of course, from there, I was generated with my brother and I. We went into the chopping the Mercury's and sectioning the shoe boxes, and we had a lot of fun pioneering many of these cars that you see here. And like the three cars right here, my brother's very first Merc, that 49 over there, the green one. He bought it at a dealership, had five miles on it, drove it into the shop. We ripped out all the upholstery, took all the glass out, took the hacksaws to it, and he didn't even have five miles on the car. And then we have the uh, Hirohata Mercury, was the very first one that had many unique changes. And then, of course, the Grand National Roadster window right here, the Alla car we built or Richard Peters, our dear friend from Fresno, right over here also in our booth. And uh, it's kind of an honor for me to be here. I've been a legend and tributed here with many of our cars. But uh, it turns out that Detroit and the Autorama is probably the number one custom car show, and I would say in the world, not only the USA now, because the selection of cars and the talent that's here can never, ever be equal in any other show. Even in the Grand National out at the West Coast, used to be in Oakland and went to, to Los Angeles, doesn't equal the Detroit Autorama that the uh, Larrabee and all the group has done. For decades, Barris has produced numerous cars for television and film out of his shop in North Hollywood, including the coach from the TV series, The Munsters. Of course, George Barris's most famous creation is the Batmobile, built in 1966 for the Batman TV series. The original is currently housed in the Peterson Museum in Los Angeles. Barris is still going strong, attending car shows like the Autorama. But when it's all said and done, we asked him how he would like to be remembered. I think the thing I enjoy more than anything, cars are wonderful, but people are better. So my biggest thrill is when people come up to me and shake my hand and say, gee, you know, you've done a great job on cars. So meet and greet and people is, is real and very realistic. And cars are fun to, and they're collectors, but people are the best. I was a 13-year-old boy that played with a craft that nobody was doing anything with. That means I was taking and doing cars. Now, I made that successful, and that only could be done and made in America and USA.